Hello everyone. Welcome back to One Touch Pharmacology. If you are new to this channel and those of you who haven't subscribed, please subscribe for more exciting videos and don't forget to press the bell icon. Get all the latest update and the management of tuberculosis in less than 5 minutes. In this presentation, I have included the relevant portions from Technical and Operational Guidelines 2016 and updates from Programmatic Management of Drug Resistant TB released in 2019 please do watch the video till the end to get all the updates until recently the tuberculosis control program in india was called as revised national tuberculosis control program abbreviated as rntcp rntcp is now relabeled as national tuberculosis elimination program from jan 2020 the target of this program is to eliminate tuberculosis by 2025 as a student i found it really herculean to try and remember all the different categories in the management of tuberculosis there is a good news for all those who don't have a great memory like me the new tb guidelines has removed all these categories and now the management of tuberculosis is purely based on drug sensitivity so what are the changes in the management of tuberculosis the basic intent is to go all out against tuberculosis the thrice weekly regimen has been changed to daily regimen drugs are now given as fixed dose combination based on weight in the technical and operational guidelines basically we were left with three categories that is newly diagnosed tuberculosis previously treated tuberculosis and drug resistant tuberculosis In the latest updates on tuberculosis we are basically managing tuberculosis based on drug sensitivity pattern that is you have two categories that is drug sensitive tuberculosis and drug resistant tuberculosis so our task is really cut out ethambutol has been added in the continuation phase of management of drug sensitive tuberculosis there is no extension of intensive phase even in the absence of sputum conversion in the latest update in the management of tuberculosis follow up period has been extended to 2 years which includes both laboratory and clinical follow up there are some changes in the management of drug resistant tuberculosis based on the guidelines released in 2019 the drug sensitivity testing has been made universal that is all tb patients are now subjected to drug sensitivity testing there are now five weight bands instead of four that was mentioned in 2016 guidelines a patient presenting with a cough of more than 2 weeks fever for more than 2 weeks significant loss of weight hemoptysis or abnormalities in chest x-ray is known as presumptive tuberculosis which is known earlier as pulmonary tb suspect case definition of tuberculosis it can be microbiologically confirmed that means the biological specimen is positive for acid fast bacilli or it is culture positive clinically diagnosed tuberculosis when the biological specimen is not positive but you have chest x ray features which are suggestive of tuberculosis or the histopathology report is suggesting tuberculosis or based on clinical signs and symptoms tuberculosis can be classified based on the anatomical site the history of previous treatment or drug resistance classification based on the anatomical site it can be pulmonary or extra pulmonary extra pulmonary tuberculosis is the one which involves skin git the genital urinary system the central nervous system skeletal system or pleura so where would you classify miliary tuberculosis basically miliary tuberculosis is classified under pulmonary tuberculosis because there is involvement of lung so in any case of tuberculosis when the lung is involved it is classified under pulmonary tuberculosis classification based on history of previous treatment of tuberculosis it can be a newly diagnosed case of tuberculosis that is the patient has never taken anti tb drugs in his life or even if he has taken att is just for a period 
less than one month. Previously treated tuberculosis, that is, the patient has taken ATT for more than one month. It includes recurrent tuberculosis, failure of therapy at the end of the most recent course of anti-tuberculous drugs, loss to follow-up, undocumented, that is, the patient was previously treated but the outcome or the treatment is undocumented. Classification based on drug resistance. This classification is from the latest guidelines released in 2019. H monoresistant tuberculosis. Here the resistance is only to isoniazid. There is no resistance to rifampicin or other first line anti-TB drugs. The sensitivity to rifampicin has to be confirmed. Poly drug resistant TB. Here there is resistance to more than one first line anti-TB drug but there is no resistance to isoniazid and rifampicin. Multidrug resistant tuberculosis. Here there is resistance to both isoniazid and rifampicin with or without resistance to other first line anti-TB drugs. Extensive drug resistance TB. MDR TB with additional resistance to fluoroquinolone and second line injectable agents like capriomycin, canamycin and amikacin. When do you suspect a drug resistant tuberculosis? They are classified as presumptive drug resistant tuberculosis. In patients where there is failure of treatment with the first line anti-TB drugs. Patients who are contacts of drug resistant TB patients. TB patients who are found positive on follow-up, recurrence of tuberculosis, people living with history of HIV, non-responders to first-line anti-TB drugs, including the pediatric population. The drug regimen is now purely based on drug sensitivity pattern. Let's see how the drug sensitivity is being tested. Drug sensitivity testing is being done in the presumptive TB patients who are HIV positive or with extrapulmonary tuberculosis, patients who are smear negative but chest x-ray is suggestive of TB, patients who come under the vulnerable population as defined in the technical and operational guidelines 2016. I'll give you a few examples from that like healthcare workers, people living with comorbidities like diabetes mellitus or people who live in urban slums. Contacts of drug resistant tuberculosis. Apart from the presumptive TB group, all notified cases of tuberculosis, both private as well as public and non-responders to therapy are subjected to cartridge-based nucleic acid amplification test or TRUNAT to rule out rifampicin resistance. Once rifampicin resistance is ruled out, the line probe assay is done to rule out INH resistance. If it is sensitive to isoniazid, the patient is then treated as drug sensitive tuberculosis, that is, when the resistance to both rifampicin as well as isoniazid is ruled out, the patient is managed as drug sensitive tuberculosis. If INH resistance is detected, line probe assay for second line drugs like fluoroquinolones and second line injectables are done. Line probe assay for pyrazinamide can be done if available. Once all other resistance are ruled out except for INH, the patient is managed as H monoresistant tuberculosis. Now we'll look into the second scenario. If rifampicin resistance is detected, then line probe assay is done to rule out resistance to INH and pyrazinamide and other second line agents. If resistance to INH is detected, it is managed as multidrug resistant tuberculosis. If there is additional resistance to second line agents, then it is managed as extensive drug resistant TB. Let us look into the management of 
drug sensitive tuberculosis the intensive phase includes isoni acid rifampicin pyrazinamide and ethambutol all of these drugs are given for a period of 2 months as fixed dose combination on a daily basis in the continuation phase pyrazinamide is removed that is isoni acid rifampicin and ethambutol is continued for a period of 4 months the continuation phase may be extended to 12 to 24 weeks in case of cns disseminated or skeletal tuberculosis based on the clinical judgment now let's look into the weight bands there are five weight bands that is 25 to 34 kg 35 to 49 kg 50 to 64 kg 65 to 75 kg and more than 75 kg each fdc has 75 mg of inh 150 mg of rifampicin 400 mg of pyrazinamide and 275 mg of ethambutol the fdc given in the continuation phase doesn't have pyrazinamide the dosing of other drugs remain the same the first weight band that is the patients with 25 to 34 kg receive two tablets then uh, three tablets four tablets five tablets and six tablets based on their weight bands management of h mono resistant or poly drug resistant tuberculosis though both these categories are different they are managed in the same fashion the drugs include levofloxacin rifampicin ethambutol pyrazinamide given for a period of 6 months you can note that there is no division here into intensive and continuation phase the shorter mdr tb regimen this regimen is selected for patients who have rifampicin resistance without additional resistance to second line injectables or fluoroquinolones in the intensive phase which lasts for 4 to 6 months you give injection canamycin high dose of moxifloxacin ethionamide clofazamin pyrazinamide high dose of inh and ethambutol in the continuation phase which lasts for 5 months canamycin inh ethionamide is removed and all of the drugs are continued toxin prophylaxis is given moving on to all oral longer mdr tb regimen the inclusion criteria for this regimen includes resistance to fluoroquinolones or second line injectable agents inha mutation for ethionamide please note that inha mutation is common for ethionamide resistance also resistance to pyrazinamide intolerance to fluoroquinolones and second line injectables pregnancy extra pulmonary tb in patients who are hiv positive disseminated tuberculosis the drugs in the regimen includes bedaquiline levofloxacin linozolid clofazamin cycloserine which is continued for 18 to 20 months here also there is no intensive and continuation phase bedaquiline is stopped after 6 months the dose of linozolid is reduced from 600 mg to 300 mg at the end of 6 months due to the risk of hematological toxicity to summarize rntcp is now relabeled as national tuberculosis elimination program treatment is now based on drug sensitivity pattern based on the pmdt 2019 guidelines drug resistant tb is now managed as h mono resistant tb shorter mdr tb regimen or all oral longer mdr tb regimen thank you